disgraced former teen mom to star David Eason, who is also currently facing felony charges for allegedly strangling Janelle Evans's teenage son is even worse than we thought, you guys. I just saw the news this morning and i don't even know what to say other than this is going to be a very sensitive video it's in regards to animals and you know david eason and animals in the same sentence you know what that's going to mean right so just a warning to you guys this is going to be really really bad the u.s sun published an article and it included a video of david eason getting served with papers from janelle evans where she was requesting a protective order on behalf of herself and her three children the u.s sun has the information about what was put in the order and let's just say david is truly the absolute worst we already know that he's a terrible person he off to the family dog the 10 pound not even 10 pound what was it like six pound um french bulldog that they had named M nugget um and now it turns out that is not the only dog that he has offed in that family let's take a look at david getting served the papers then afterwards we're going to get into exactly what these allegations are that janelle is now making against him there he is with the two servers he looks a little bit upset about what's going on with his little pigtails. And that is the boat that he is alleged to be living on. You know, it's interesting to me that Janelle can afford this sort of a boat. You know, she's been fought, she was fired from the show several years ago. She cannot get an endorsement deal to save her life because she truly is persona non grata. She's got multiple children and this free, uh, freeloader to take care of. So how is it that she can afford this boat in addition to the home, the motorcycle and all sorts of other things that she's been buying? But anyway, these servers are just there to present David with the papers. David looks to be rather upset initially, but then afterwards, it seems as though he calms down and has some sort of conversation with them before taking to his TikTok to talk about being served with the papers. So what exactly is Janelle alleging to get another protective order against David this time? Well, again, according to the U.S. Sun, who has this exclusive, Janelle is accusing David of running over one of their puppies. Yeah in addition to other things. Let's take a look. The statement says, and I quote, David has an argument with Janelle outside of the house in the driveway. David storms off, gets into Janelle's Toyota to drive away without asking Janelle's permission, pulls out really fast, ran over a puppy and offed it. Kids were at school, but stepdaughter Marissa was home at the time and witnessed the dog dying. David also witnessed the dog dying. You know how upsetting it is to hear that this man, who is such a danger to animals, children, women, is able to consistently pop out kids and to own animals. I feel like he should be on some sort of a, a registry where he is not allowed to own any sort of animal. The fact that he shot one dog and now he ran over a puppy, like enough is enough man you guys david is just such a terrible irredeemable person that has no positive attributes and it's just so disturbing to see the way that he consistently gets away with these things how many times has he lost custody of his children now he's facing felony charges and a misdemeanor charge as well for allegedly putting his unemployed paws on a, a 14 year old you know and then on top of that he already shot like a five pound dog now here he is running over a puppy like what is wrong with him seriously this is why i don't like when people always go um everybody should have kids when are you having kids when are you having kids not everybody is fit to raise children. When you just act like everybody should be having kids, you end up with a bunch of these David Eason's who are raised by people who are just like him or worse, you know? Um, and now look, how many times have these children been traumatized by him? They were around when he shot Nugget and now his daughter Marissa was around when he ran over this one. Like it's too much trauma for children to be enduring. So there are millions of people in this world who have no business breeding and David certainly is one of them. And Janelle, actually teased this news a little bit earlier on social media um there was a post about dogs missing or puppies being found they were all wet and cold and huddled together 
And David in the comment section had said that those were Janelle's dogs. And then Jan Janelle retorted by saying, well, why don't you ask David what happened to uh, two of those dogs? So now we know what happened to one of those puppies, but what happened to the other? I'm really, really scared to find out at this point. It's it's just really disturbing. I can't, like, how does this person even live with himself? Just uh, ugh. Ill, like he's just so repulsive and so evil. So in the complaint, Janelle claimed that David has exhibited emotionally ABUSIVE behavior to and in the presence of the minor children. Um, she also says that his behavior causes a heightened level of anxiety for all three children in the home. And he has a history of physically acting out to include punching or hitting holes in walls, throwing objects, stealing items from Janelle. These former acts of physical intimidation have given plaintiff PTSD and she is scared of his behavior that might happen again soon. Some of those behaviors were in front of the children over the years. So here's my problem, Janelle. You want to cry and, you know, and really, really victimize yourself in this complaint and you are a victim. But it's just the way that you present yourself versus the way you present the children that you are supposed to protect. Chase very bravely ran away and spoke out against this man. And instead of defending this child, what did you do? You took to the internet, you called him a liar, you said he was mentally ill, you said that David actually needed to be protected from him. Not only David, but the entire family needed to be protected from Jace. And now to go from that, to turning around and claiming that David had been violent in front of the children, he had intimidated the children, he had been a, a B U S I V E to the children. Like, you know, like what is this? Both of these people are just so vile in every sense of the word. They have no business having children. They have no business having animals. They are truly one in the same. They are truly terrible, terrible, terrible people. It's painful to see this. You know, I believe everything she's saying, but the problem is that Jace had already said this stuff and she gaslit him. She smeared his name to the world instead of protecting him and backing him up, knowing that he was telling the truth. Speaking of Jace, Janelle decides to bring him up in her protective order. She says that, you know, he's 14 years old and old enough to read all of this online. In addition, this causes anxiety for him outside of the home and at school from classmates reading these public posts as well. I cannot imagine being him because that's true. Like, Janelle and David truly are a mess and all this stuff is super duper public. So it must be just humiliating to go to school knowing that everybody knows how terrible both of your parents are and just like the way they're treating you. And the, it's just, it's really sad. It really, really is. She also decided to bring up an incident from back in 2018 where she claims that they were hanging out with friends. Then they got into an argument and David tackled her to the ground. I think this is when he, uh, the collarbone, since, uh, do you remember the 911 call about her collarbone? So she says that David put Janelle's arm behind her back and then he was on top of her, pushing her down on her chest so hard her ligaments tore at her collarbone. While David was on top of Janelle, she screamed and cried, you're hurting me, oh my God, please get off. The hospital said Janelle's collarbone was not broken, but torn. So I remember this incident and I also remember her going on to downplay it right she said that they were just drunk and that they had accidentally fallen on top of each other and she didn't know what happened i think that that is consistent with a dv victim um you know of course in the moment you're upset and you are hurt physically hurt so you're going to go for help but then the person intimidates you and you walk back your claims you know so i definitely do believe that that is consistent with that sort of thing but again it's just really really sad that children were brought into this and children were gaslit about this and children's reputations were 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 injured about this as well you know i feel like she has a lot of explaining to do and a lot of apologizing to do to these children um especially jace right i'm happy that she's finally 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 like going through with this and trying to i can't even say she's trying to protect her kids from him i think that she's trying to get back at him for dating and she's trying to protect herself i don't think i genuinely do not think that janelle gives a single damn about any of her kids i think she had them for certain reasons um and those reasons don't involve loving and protecting them but either way this this story is just really disgusting and it's really really sad so i don't even i don't even know how to continue it you know I, i'm just really sad that all this time jace was telling the truth just like you and i knew but janelle went out of her way to gaslight him and that wasn't even the first time she did that like the first time we saw her do that to him was when she pulled out a gun on someone that she had followed home like a crazy lady um and Jace was there to witness it. He told his real mom, Barbara, about it. And Janelle claimed that he was a liar, even though all of that was captured on film, you know? Like, 
stories like this just make me so sad that certain children like end up with parents like this, you know? Poor Marissa witnessing that puppy being run over. Like I can imagine the scene that that was. And it's just years after she witnessed David shooting the other dog. Like this stuff is not normal. This stuff alters your brain chemistry. This stuff traumatizes you. This stuff is scary, right? No wonder she doesn't live with these people. Janelle said that Marissa spends weeks at a time living with her friends. Well, and she said like it was the most nonchalant, normal thing in the world when no, it's a sign of something, you know, terrible happening in the home. I don't know why CPS doesn't just pull all these kids once and for all. I don't know why the what animal society is supposed to be protecting animals and putting people on a list to no longer be allowed to own animals. Not only David, but Janelle as well should be on that list. Both of them are incredibly, incredibly ne uh, negligent and ABUSIVE to animals. And no offense, I'm going to say it, but children as well. Anyway, you guys, let me know how you feel about this. I'm sorry. I know it's a very heavy um, the pressing topic, but I know that you guys would be interested in this story. And so, you know, of course I wanted to share it with you, but <sighs> yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.